Hi everyone, so I know you're super excited right now because you're on your journey to buy your best and most powerful vacuum cleaner ever, and this is it. If you want it all and you want to do it right, the C3 Mila Brilliant is the vacuum for you. Unboxing the Mila C3, you'll have several different pieces. So we laid all those out and this is what we have. We have our canister, our power head, our flexible hose, our telescopic wand assembly, our deluxe extra large parquet twister, and our Alltech tool. Now, first thing you want to do, right here, you're going to lift up. There's a little lever you squeeze. You're going to open that canister, and you're going to see a sticker sticking out of your machine. So you're going to rip that thing off. That's telling you to push this little green play button, which all that does is starts a little meter for you for your life of your HEPA filter. It's a gel little capsule that you kind of can feel crack when you push it. You won't see anything right away, but within a week or two, the red line will start coming over. In a year, it should say replace when it's ready to be changed bag's already pre-installed right here, so just close your lid back down when you're done with that. Get your flexible hose, get the side that plugs into the machine with the four contacts right there. Get it lined up, and it's a nice, solid, firm press until it clicks in on both sides. To remove it, squeeze both ears and pull it straight out. So once you have your hose plugged in, then you're gonna take the top of the hose and take your telescopic wand assembly and there is two pins on the back that you need to line up. So you're gonna push that together until it clicks in like so. Then if you'd like to use the carpet head first, you plug that right in there. Same thing, you're gonna have some pins on the back that need to line up and just pop it straight in like so. So now we're set up for carpet mode. The removal of this piece for those, I'll show you in just a sec. Um, let's get some dirt and we'll plug this thing in and vacuum. So on the left of the carpet head, there's gonna be a little pedal on the back end of it. You're gonna step on that nice and hard and you're gonna lean the neck back and that's gonna get us into vacuuming position. Then you can adjust the height of the wand by holding this button down on the back of the wand assembly and adjusting this to any position that you want. Just push it, it'll click in wherever you wanna put it. The top one here is how you remove the hose handle. But for now, we're gonna turn our suction on with the one that's lit up in orange, just like so. And the one button to the right of that is gonna start our motor carpet head. And you'll know it's working when the light's on. Adjusting the power head is important for the type of carpet height that you're using. There's a window here with a number that says five, four, three, two, and one. So I recommend that you put it on level five we're gonna turn everything on and then we're gonna step on this one click at a time and that's gonna lower this head down until we hear the sound and pitch change or you can feel it grab the carpet. Now I already know this is a low pile and this is a number two, but I'm gonna show it to you now. So I'm gonna turn our suction on, turn our power head on, I'm on five, four, three, listen to two, grabs the carpet and that's where you're gonna get your best performance with it when it just touches, just like so. It's got a nice swivel neck, Lay it nice and flat down both sides. Get underneath furniture, just like so. You can turn everything off with that main button. Shuts everything down. To remove the head from the pole, it's a foot switch. Place your foot on the back and just simply pull it out. Then we can take our bare floor tool or our other rug tool here and we can just simply snap them on. Now there's no electrical connection with this connection, so I like to just put it on like so and just rotate until you hear it click and then you're done. All you need to do is just turn your suction on. You want it on maximum here. You back in the way. Nice swivel, nice rotation. If you want to lay flat, you need to rotate it to the right or left and then drop flat like so. It's a great tool for hardwood floor and tile. It covers a lot of area. Unlike, unlike the power head, that stands up and locks. This doesn't. So Mila has added a little park system holder right here on the back and that slides into the back of the canister to temporarily hold it parked there. So let's get in depth and explain these hose controls on this machine, the C3 Brilliant. We have our main power button which is going to be lit up in orange here. When we select that button it turns on the suction of our canister and it's going to highlight the suction setting that we're on. Change that with the plus and minus buttons. We're going to minus our suction down all the way to the minimum setting here. Little symbols, drapes and blinds. The next one's couches and upholstery. 
small, delicate rugs. Then you'll see automatic. Automatic's gonna leave the machine on the highest setting. If the bag was full, or there was an obstruction in the hose, or the motor was overheating or running too hot, it's gonna automatically adjust the suction down to the lowest setting so it won't overheat itself. And it's also helpful on thicker rugs because it can lower the motor speed to make it easier to push at the nozzle. Maximum is great for hardwood floor and tile and your wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. When you want to shut the vacuum off, just hit that same on button there. The button next to it is the power head carpet motor head on and off button. So power head, carpet motor head, same thing. It's this electro premium piece that we were just using. So you turn the vacuum on, then you turn the power head button on. When we use specialty tools like the combo tool, you'll see symbols here that match the symbols on the hose. So when you have the delicate rug setting, you would want to match that to the delicate rug setting right there. So we'll take our wand off of our power head, we're going to put it back on the Alltech tool. And this is a tool for your silks and your wools and your delicate rugs. And what I've done is I've matched that symbol to this symbol here, lowering the suction so that it's easier for me to push and it doesn't damage the rug. It's also a great way to clean the fringe and the castles and such. If you want to quickly go to bare floor, you step on this pedal, that's going to push the brush out on the bottom. But now I want more suction, so I'm going to bring that back up to maximum. And now I'm back on a hardwood floor set. So this is a great combo tool. It's easy to use on both surfaces. Back to the rug, step on the pedal, lower the suction to the picture of the rug, and just back, back to vacuum in the rug. Again, it carries the park system on the back, and that will put the machine in standby and also hold it up if you gotta go answer the phone or attend to something. Mila C3 Brilliant Bag and Filter Change, super simple. I like to remove the hose, you don't have to. The lid will open with it connected, but if you remove it, just squeeze the ears, move it to the sides, it makes it a lot easier, the lid won't flop around. I'm gonna squeeze here, lift straight up and down, right there. You're gonna pull the bag from the blue plastic piece at an angle out, just like so. This is normal to be spring-loaded, just kind of just leave it alone, really. This is the disposable piece here. And when you buy bags, you buy the Mila GN style. You're gonna get four bags in a box, plus one of these and one of these. Now, because this is the top of the line, you've got the HEPA filter, you don't use this filter. So just discard it, use it as a little cleaning cloth or whatnot, but you don't need it inside the machine at all. This filter here, you can cut the line, pull this down. You wanna change this once every four bags. On this particular model, you can actually get two out of it if you wanna do it every two bags. So just follow the line, cut it to size, and just replace this pad once in a while. The HEPA filter is that yearly change, and that does have that meter right here. So to remove it, just lift up on the center tab, the whole thing gets disposed of. Don't stick anything underneath here. Just get your new HEPA filter in from the back, push it down, start your play little meter again. That's your timer, remember? Get your new bag, slide the bracket in like so, bring it down, and that's really it. Don't, don't force this bracket far underneath or anything. It just sits nice on top. When the lid comes down, that's what opens the little magnet closure flap, just like so, and you kind of see it in there. It's open, ready to go. Plug your hose back in and you've now changed your bags and filters. So there's a couple of different ways you can store your Mila C3 Brilliant. First thing you want to do definitely is wrap the cord up. Now this is a one touch cord reel, so as soon as I hit that button it's going to fly inside. So make sure you're holding on to the end of the plug. Hit the cord reel once and go back inside. Just like so. You can stand her up on its butt like that and you can leave your carpet head attached if you use that a lot. But on both sides of the machine, there's these storage slots. And both tools actually have those same storage park system slots. So you go on the left and the right like that. So you can keep it together like that. Or for people who use the bare floor tool a lot, maybe this wants to go on a shelf in the closet. This can actually be inserted into here like that. And now you can have maybe the bare floor tool on there all the time, ready to go.